So my name is Amos Breifel. I'm an application engineer here at Stratasys out of the European office. So the partnership with McLaren is basically grew out of all the work that we've done in racing over the last years. So we've had a, a big involvement across a lot of different racing industries. Um, and there hasn't really been a good way to tell that story. So the work we're doing with McLaren helps them go a little bit faster. It also helps us tell a better story. So 3D printing has a pretty big impact on what McLaren is doing, just in letting them iterate faster than they could before. So whether it's producing tools or parts to go directly on the car, they can go from an idea to an actual part on the vehicle in a very short amount of time. So McLaren has a number of machines from Stratasys. So they have some of the Fordist line of machines. They also have the F370s, which are very good in their design department. They're also using the Polyjet machines in order to do more design iteration and very, very nice looking parts for directly on the car. So one of the good stories that we can tell is that they're doing actually final production parts for things like hydraulic brackets. So they're using the carbon fiber nylon material to print a part so they can go from the idea directly to a bracket to go on the car within a few hours. That way they can actually get to the races and make their changes much faster than they could before. One of the beauties of the partnership with McLaren is that we are working a lot with them on development. So they're asking us for materials that can do more than what the plastics can do today. So we're looking at things like the carbon fiber reinforced materials. We're always looking for stuff that can go to a higher temperature, withstand more vibrations. So McLaren's really feeding our development team with what they need for the future. So with that, we have parts that are going on the car now with things like the carbon fiber nylon 12. We also have unfilled materials, and in the very near future, we'll be hearing about more new materials that they're using for this. The indication that this gives us for the future, the partnership, is that in the past, a lot of the entire industry was built to make prototypes. So people had a machine, and they said, we have a machine. Do you want to use it? So instead, what we're really doing is we're partnering with companies like McLaren and saying, you know, what do you guys need from the technology? So then when they come to us and say, we need a, a material that does this, we need to do this application, we can really develop a product for that. So I think that as we go forward in this industry, we'll see much more tailored solutions for customers. Instead of saying we have a one-size-fits-all solution, now we can solve individual issues that customers are facing. So this is a pretty good example. We mentioned this a little bit earlier. This is one of the carbon fiber nylon hydraulic brackets. So with this, they can actually print the part directly off the machine. They pull this off the machine. This is actually bolted onto the car for the races. So this is a part printed directly that actually runs in the race over and over. That way they can make changes and use them in the race within a few hours instead of having to wait weeks for the molds for these. So this is a kind of cool part. This is actually a tool for some of the carbon fiber. So if you look at, you know, McLaren's not alone in this. Nearly every car and almost every racing industry uses carbon fiber because of the lightweight nature of it. So what they're able to do is just in a few hours they can print a tool. So they don't have to machine the tool. They can print a tool, lay the carbon fiber up. This tool can actually withstand the autoclave temperatures and pressures, so it's a high temperature material. So they can get the actual production part out of carbon fiber off a 3D printed tool in just a few hours or days instead of waiting weeks for the tool to be manufactured. So McLaren's using a lot of this, and we have a couple of good examples to show here today.